Repetitive tasks, like sending payment reminders to customers, are time-consuming. Workflows help you save time by automating many of these tasks. Let's go over the different types of workflows available in QuickBooks Online Advanced, then how to set them up and edit them. You can access the workflows from here. When you start, you won't see any workflows, but as you add them, QuickBooks lists them here. You can set up a custom workflow or use a template. Let's use a template for now, and you can learn about custom workflows later. Select Templates. There are three types of workflows. Reminders. Send an email to customers, suppliers, or someone within your business, or a mobile app notification to someone on your team. Approvals create procedures within your company that limit what users can do before it's approved. For instance, you can set up an invoice approval process that triggers any time someone records an invoice over a specific amount. And automations perform actions like sending a report or statement on a recurring schedule. Each workflow has a brief description to tell you what it does. You can also search for a workflow. Or if you only want to see workflows that relate to a specific action or transaction type, select filters. Select what you're looking for and select Apply Filters. Let's set up one of the most commonly used workflows, a payment due reminder for customers. Select the Send Payment Reminder Workflow. Enter a name for your workflow. Then choose what you want QuickBooks to do. Let's remind customers about unpaid invoices five days before the invoice is due. This reminder relates to something the customer needs to do. But if you're setting up a workflow for something your team needs to do, QuickBooks can create a reminder in their tasks. QuickBooks will send this reminder to the customer's email address, but you can add other email addresses like someone on your team. And you can also personalize the message they'll receive. When this and other workflows trigger, QuickBooks can send you an email summarizing all of them. This is a nice way to be up to date with all of the automation happening in your company. And finally, QuickBooks can send a notification to someone in your team who has the QuickBooks online mobile app installed on their phone or tablet. In this case, QuickBooks will only send reminders to customers about unpaid invoices. But you can add other conditions as well. For instance, if you select customer as a condition, you can then make this reminder only apply to a specific customer. Or you can select invoice amount and the reminder will only apply to invoices at or over a specific amount. When you're done, select save and turn on. QuickBooks lists the workflow in the My Workflows tab. This is where you can edit, copy, or delete the workflow. You can also turn off the workflow here. It's important to note that you can usually have multiple workflows for the same type of action. This reminder will go out when a customer has five days left to pay. But you can select templates and set up another separate reminder for overdue customers. If you want more control, you can create your custom workflows without a template. Check out this video to learn more about how to set up custom workflows. Now you are ready to set up your workflows to automate tasks in your business.